In this video, we're going to talk about the media generators in Sony Vegas. And to be honest and upfront with you, they are both a good and a bad thing, an easy and an annoying thing. So I'll demonstrate for you how the media generator works and give you some tips along the way. So I'm going to take my video and I'm going to pull it down to the timeline here. And just to refresh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim this stuff off from the beginning and pull this over and trim this off. From the end so i've got the good video clip that i want to work with i'll pull it over to the very start move my playhead to the very start now let's say for example in this video i'm talking about cameras and i would like the word cameras to appear up here the way we would do that is with media generators in vegas so i'm going to go over here to media generators and vegas comes with a variety of generators from checkered board to credit rolls to solid colors, to patterns, but we're interested in text. And the thing about Sony Vegas and text is this. Sony Vegas has always pretty much sucked when it comes to text in their videos. They have a very basic text, which is probably the most intuitive to use. And at one point they used this really fancy uh, text option that no one could figure out how to use. And these days they're kind of doing everything at once, okay? In your version of Sony Vegas, you likely have an option called New Blue Titler Pro. And this is actually a third-party product that's a plug-in for Sony Vegas. And it's available right here. And if you want to play with it, feel free. But I would recommend that you probably avoid it. The next option is we have another Sony attempt at making animated, nice-looking text easier. Okay, and that's what these guys are over here. And if I go to each of these, we can see the little animation that they have. So let's say, for example, I wanted this dropping words guy right here. Well, what I would do, just as an example, is simply pull this guy down to the timeline like this. And this window is going to pop up, and I'll resize it so you can see it. And I'll move my playhead over here. And as you can see, this really isn't very WYSIWYG. Just right off the bat, it's kind of confusing. And that's why I'm going to recommend to you that unless you really want to start playing around with it, go ahead and skip this guy too. And I'll show you some better options. Because a lot of times in our videos, we just want, you know, words on the screen. And it's best not to get too fancy. And to do that, we're going to use this guy, Legacy Text. And this is what Sony Vegas started out with, okay? And nine times out of ten, this is what you're going to want to use. So in this example, for this video, I just want the word camera to appear right here, or cameras. Okay, so out of these options, I'm going to select this guy with a nice soft shadow. But again, I know that I need to put this guy on the top track in my video. Okay, how do I do that? Well, I'm going to move down here because my screen is reduced. Right click here and choose insert video track. And the video track will be put there. Now in Vegas, uh, just to remind you, audio goes in an audio track. Everything else goes in a video track. Video, media generators, pictures, graphics, they all go in video tracks. Okay, so I'm going to take this guy and I'll pull him down to the timeline right here. And this little window will pop up that's maybe a little more intuitive. Okay, here's our text. And I'll just highlight it and change it to cameras. And I can go ahead and change the size of the font. Say we'll make it 36 like this or maybe a little bit bigger, 48 like that. And then I can go over here and choose the placement. I just drag it to where I want it to be, like so. Then we have other options where we can change the colors or outlines and things like that. But 99 times out of 100, this is all you're going to want to do. And then I'll close this guy. And we really don't need to worry about keyframing okay, or, or anything like that. Okay, once you have an idea of it's what your video like this. product is going to I want to add about, some movement to this guy. Or First up, let's say I want this to appear across the entire video. I just grab the end and pull it like this. But what I want is I want this cameras to just pop in. And to do that, instead of doing keyframing and all that stuff, we'll just go ahead and use a transition that I talked about in, previous, in a previous video. So I'm going to go to transitions. And let's say I want this guy to just kind of drop in. So I'll have him slide in. And I will have him slide in. I want top to bottom. Where is it? Top down. I'm going to grab it. 
I'm going to pull it to the corner here waiting for my cursor to change like that and it's kind of difficult for me because I've got everything reduced so much boom like that okay so there's my transition and here's where I can change the type of transition and all that it's good enough as is so if I go hit the home key and play it from the beginning Okay, you once you have an idea text is going to drop what in your like video that. product is going to be about. And in most instances, next that's all you're ever going to need to do. But let's say, for example, you want this text right here, maybe with a, a background behind it, some type of color background. And we would use media generators for that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this guy and just pull it out of the way. And that's one of the cool things of Vegas. You can just pull things around however you want. I'm going to go back to media generators. And if I want to draw a little box for a background of this, what I can do is choose solid color. And let's say just for example, I want this to be green, an annoying green. And I'm just going to pull this down to right here. Okay, now you see it's covering the entire video clip because anything on top that doesn't have a transparent background is going to cover whatever is below it. Okay, so what am I going to do? You know, because I don't want this entire thing to be green. I just want a green box. So first I'm going to close this window. And the way we're going to change this is we're going to go into Event Pan and Crop that we talked about before. So I'm going to go into here and the window is going to be too big because my screen's reduced. I'm going to pull it like this. Now I talked about this before in the previous video on Event Pan and Crop. Be very, very careful of where your playhead is when you're doing this stuff. I want this to be sized the same way from beginning, no animation. Okay, so what am I going to do now to make this a different size box? Well, we talked about zooming in, but now I want to go the other way and zoom out. Like that. And then I can click this guy. And by the way, you can use your, the scroll wheel on your mouse so you can see better. And now I can click and move this guy to maybe where I want it. Now, another thing to watch out for when you're doing this is I recommend you leave these two guys checked as they are. Lock aspect ratio and size about center. Now, if I zoom back in here a little bit, if I unlock the aspect ratio, what that means is when I change the size of this, okay, it's not going to change consistently. Okay, the aspect ratio is no longer being followed. I can, you know, effectively change the dimensions of the box exactly how I want. But this can get kind of confusing, and it's one of the gotchas in Sony Vegas that really infuriates people because this is kind of hard to use. That's why I recommend that you leave these guys checked. And the other one is size about center, which make thing which makes things even screwier. And again, this is just a kind of a gotcha in Sony Vegas. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this guy, start back over from the beginning, go back into Event Pan and Crop, make sure I have these two guys on, size about center and lock aspect ratio, then I'll zoom out a little bit, move this over to about here, and you know what I didn't do? I wasn't paying attention to where this keyframe was. So rather than starting all over, a quick trick around this, if you run into yourself doing this, like I do, is to select this keyframe, this little diamond, right click, choose copy, go to the very first one, left click on it to select it, right click and choose paste. Okay? And then we can go back to this guy and right click and choose delete. Okay, now we're going to be good to go from beginning to end. That box is going to stay there. Now what I can do, I just need to add my text on top of this. So I'm going to pull this guy to the beginning, pull this guy across. I need to put my text on top. Simplest way to do that, scroll down, right click, insert video track, grab this guy, pull him up to the top. And it's not perfect. I might need to tweak things. Okay, it's once gonna you go have like this, an idea that's going to come down. What your video product the is final be thing I want is I want this green box to move with that text. So I will go back to transitions, grab this guy, pull him to here, 
Now they both have the same transition and everything should move together okay, once you have as one. an idea of what your video product and that's how is we can use about. media generators now to give you the the straight poop okay media generators are best used if you just want to do simple text using the legacy text where you're not doing any background images or anything like that anytime i want to use any type of fancier graphics what i will do is i will create an image outside of sony vegas with a transparent background and then bring that image into sony vegas and i'll be demonstrating how to do this towards the end of the end of this course